the most visited stone circle in Cumbria, whose name is a bit of a mystery and has resulted in a recent and important Roman find. Hi, this is Veronica from History of Victorum. Join us as we explore the history of Castle Rig Stone Circle. The Keswick area did not have any written history until about the Middle Ages, and much of the earlier history is lost to us. It is believed that the stone circle was originally built around 4500 BC, and later changes were made around 3000 BC. There were more than 300 stone circles in Britain. Most of them are burial monuments from about 800 to 2000 BC. Castle Rig was older and does not contain burial monuments. The entrance is considered to be between the two large rocks here on the northern side of the stone circle. The stone circle was documented as having 42 stones, 38 of which still remain today. The larger stones are estimated to weigh around 16 tons. And one of the stories regarding the stone circle is that you can count the stones multiple times and never get the exact same number each time. One of the stones lies outside the circle. The outlier stone is located here in the background by the stone wall. You'll notice the person in the yellow coat reaches out and touches the stone. Having at least one stone outside the circle is normal for Neolithic stone circles like this one, and the purpose of these outliers is not known. The outlier at Castle Rig is said to be scarred with marks, which some believe to be plow marks due to the fact that the stone circle had previously been described as standing within a cornfield. Castle Rig is unusual because the site contains a series of stones arranged in a rectangular area inside the circle. Only one other stone circle has this feature near Ullswater. This rectangular area is made up of 10 stones and referred to as the sanctuary, but it is not quite known what it was used for. It is believed that this was a later addition and its function could have been to add significance to rituals. There are a number of theories as to the function of the stone circle. Many consider it a meeting place for trade, social gatherings, religious ceremonies, and an astronomical observatory. The stone circle was built before the Bronze Age, and during excavations in the 19th century, three axes were found here. This has led some to believe that this site may have been involved in the Cumbrian axe trade. Due to the high quality of stone in the Langdale Valley, there was an axe industry during the Neolithic period in Langdale Valley that supplied most of the axes in Britain. In 1882, Castle Rig was protected by law as the number of visitors had increased and some were chipping off pieces of stone as souvenirs. In 1913, Castle Rig Stone Circle was bought and placed under the National Trust. It was one of the first archaeological sites in the country to be protected under the National Trust. And in 2017, the Lake District became a World Heritage Site. If you look at a map of the area of Castle Rig Stone Circle, you won't find a castle there. It is believed to have been named after a lost castle that existed somewhere near the site. References to a castle in this area go back to the 14th century. The castle was a fortification and seat of the Lord Derwentwater. It is believed to have been on the road adjacent to the circle called Castle Lonen. The heiress of Derwentwater married into the Radcliffe family about 1417, whose home was in Northumberland, and left Castle Rig in decay. Around 1450, the son and Radcliffe heir decided to abandon the old castle at Castle Rig and build a mansion on an island called Lord's Island in Derwentwater Lake, which is on the other side of Keswick. It is believed that the stones from the castle at Castle Rig were then used to build the mansion on Lord's Island. The mansion on Lord's Island is said to have had a drawbridge, gardens, and orchards. This mansion was dismantled around 1651. Roman pottery has been found in the area, with Hadrian's Wall and Roman camps in the region. Roman occupation is believed to have taken place in the Keswick area. In 2008, a search was organized in the area of Castle Rig Stone Circle to find unearthed stones from the 14th century castle or another stone circle. Instead, a Roman fort was discovered to the southwest of Castle Rig Stone Circle. Some believe that the castle was built upon the old Roman fort. The the fort has not been excavated and plans to do so have not been announced at this time. It is also believed that the road Castellonen is likely a Roman road. It isn't hard to see why the Romans, as well as those building a castle, would select this area near the Castle Rig Stone Circle, with its magnificent views. 
Thank you for joining History Victorum as we explore the Castle Rig Stone Circle in Cumbria. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.